expecting super widespread severe weather, especially when it comes to any winter weather, but we are definitely going to be feeling lots of rain and some very gusty winds. That's why Tuesday is a weather impact day with mostly heavy rain all across the area. 100% chance of rain for everyone. Those wind gusts could get about 30 to 40 miles per hour, maybe even higher in the mountains where we go to those higher elevations and also a low end severe threat where we could see some of those strong straight line winds. His radar now where we are completely dry and quiet in both Carolinas, both north and south. But if you go back off to our west, just look at all the rain and even a few storms that are really forming together, slowly heading in our direction. We're going to start to see that rain by tonight. As the rain moves through, we do have a winter weather advisory in place starting at 9 o'clock tonight until 7 a.m. Tuesday for Western North Carolina. So we could see about a quarter inch of ice, very slick roads, and maybe even some power outages as this is moving through because temperatures during the overnight hours will be very cold. Here's as we go hour by hour. We've got a few of those clouds that'll move through, but still looking to stay dry all day long today. You'll certainly be able to get home before the rain arrives. This is at 10 o'clock tonight when we're starting to see some of that rain and even some of that wintry mix. You notice in the pink color moving into Western North Carolina becomes very widespread by midnight and even the intensity picks up. It's going to be very heavy at times. Here we are 6 a.m. Still lots of rain all on top of us and it's going to continue to be exactly like that. This is very heavy and persistent rain that we're going to be tracking. Notice by 9 o'clock, though, we don't have any more of that wintry mix in the mountains. So as we get into sunrise, temperatures will warm up to above freezing and we're going to have just all rain and it's going to stay all rain in the upstate, not expecting any winter weather there. If we are this very time tomorrow, then just look at how heavy this is, how much red is showing up on the map is showing just how much rain we're going to see. And as we go into the afternoon, it even forms into a strong line of even intense. I'm talking very heavy rainfall. Thankfully, that will be pushing its way outside of our area, but that's also where we could see some of that severe weather by five o'clock or so. All of that should finally be moving out. Could even see some return moisture in the mountains as we head into your Wednesday morning. Now, as those rain chances are going to be very high throughout much of the day, they will wind down through the evening hours tomorrow and it's still going to be very rainy. In fact, we have up to a level three on a scale of one to four of excessive rainfall threat for tomorrow across the area. So we could be seeing roughly about two to four, maybe as high as six inches of rainfall when this is all said and done.